thoughts! Morning thoughts! Morning thoughts! Man, my eyes. Ugh, it's been a long weekend. Morning thoughts. I think I was about to start morning thoughts off like this. Morning thoughts. Morning thoughts. Morning thoughts. Because, listen, I don't know how to fake things. I don't know how to fake things, so I'm just raw and to the point. Sometimes it offends people. I apologize, but I never apologize for telling truth. Me not feel like go work this morning and I'm on the morning. And you know I'm supposed to be here to motivate people and all that. But I guarantee you the people that tune in to SoFlow TV this morning in the comment section will motivate me to continue to do what I do, right? So big up on yourself and bless up on yourself for that. I won't keep this long. I'm right outside of where I go to get my daily bread and I'm about to go inside, get my daily bread. Start early and early. Listen, I have two breaking stories that are coming. Um, please stay tuned for those on the channel. I need your undivided attention with these two stories. All right? Very, very important. I'm not going to say anything more about those. Uh, blessed morning to everybody. Grand Rising, blessed morning, shalom, to all the people who get up, put one foot in front of the other, feel like I feel, but still go forth and get it. Oh, I feel like doing this this Monday morning. You know, this morning I had to roll myself out the bed and literally hit the floor before I could actually get up and go. And then I went in the bathroom and sat on the toilet for about 30 minutes. And then I went in the shower and I stayed there for another 15 minutes under the warm water. Man, I'm telling you, it, got, it gets rough sometimes, but we get it done. And these are the reasons why I give mad respect to the people that do this. Big up on my retirees. Bushman, what well, brother? Big up all the people them that work for themselves. Entrepreneurial spirit, oh man, and you get no days off. The beauty about being an entrepreneur is, though, that you determine your income, right? And you take your time off when you feel like taking your time off. And what you put in is what you really get out. See, a lot of us work for other people, and we don't get out what we put in. You know what I'm saying? We get out what they give us out of it. But the beauty of entrepreneurship is you get out what you put in. If I put a lot of hours in and a lot of quality time in, I get quality money out of it, and I get quality satisfaction out of it, right? That's the reason why I stress to my audience a lot of the times, and this is important to hear going back to work this Monday morning. I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. The occupational therapy field is a beautiful field. I love it. It's very rewarding when I see that I can bring joy and happiness to somebody's life or some kind of positive change through what I learned, went to school for, studied, came out, experienced, and sharpened my skills over time. And now I'm able to function like a well-oiled machine. Still learning, still growing, but it brings positiveness to other people's life, and I love that. But... I don't own the clinic which I work in. A recruiter gets a part of my um, salary to find locations for me to work. And then taxes and whatever else comes out. Not, not, don't worry about taxes because you have to pay taxes. But whatever else comes out of it before it comes to me. It's a decent salary that still gets to me. But could you imagine if all those middle people were cut out? That's the way I think. So... I say entrepreneurship to the fullest. That's the reason why I'd like to work hard, save hard, and then take some time off to focus on my entrepreneurial side of me. And I encourage my audience to do the same. Right? So please think about that. It could be anything. You like be a kick. You like saw. You like to draw. You like to paint. You like to write. Whatever it is that you really, truly enjoy doing, you can make a good living from it, and probably more than you're making now. I know, I know some of you are saying, mm, I, I doubt that, because I'm really good at writing, or I'm really good at painting, but I've been in this job for the last 15 years, or I've been in this job for the last 5 years, or however long you've been there, and the salary is good. Trust me, I used to think the same thing too. You can make a lot more, and the beauty of it is, 
Imagine waking up every day to do exactly what you love to do. Like that one thing that you will always do even if no one paid you to do it. Imagine getting up every day to do that. That's when you really start to live. That's when you really start to live. Let me close this video out by saying this right here. I was, I, what got me on the entrepreneur part is this. First of all, I come from people that have always owned businesses and always owned things. So I've learned from family members over the years, the ones that own their stuff, including my mother. Now for me, when, say for instance, a friend passes away in Jamaica or an elderly relative pass away or something and you're here on a job. And they don't want to give you time off. And you're like, but that's my family. And they're asking, well, is that your immediate family? I mean, how close are you all? Or didn't you just come back from Jamaica? Like, you have to give your whole resume and life story to an individual to attend a relative's funeral. People that work entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship, they don't have to do that. You answer to no one but yourself. If you're giving your all to your entrepreneurship and it's working out, gone through the rough patches and it's working out and you got a little saved and you hear say, Grandma, pass. You don't have to wait for Grandma to pass. You can even drop in whenever you feel like it. Let me go check on my grandmother real quick. I don't have a lot of time to spend in Jamaica, but I'm going to just run in and out for the weekend just to see them, hug them, make them know that we still care, we're here, that kind of thing. So I stress entrepreneurship this morning because that's where my heart's really at, yeah? Big up and bless up everybody, manners and respect. I love you all, all the positive, good-hearted people. Show yourself some love today, and I don't mean love as in material things, although that can be a part of it if you want to treat yourself and you've been working hard, then go ahead and do that. But love yourself, watch what you're putting in your body. Don't just dump stuff into your system like you're a garbage can, okay? Because you'll have to pay for it later on. I work in the uh, medical field. I know this stuff. And even though I know it, I myself find it hard to follow along consistently and always, 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 always. But I know that when I fall off, I get back on the horse. And I encourage you to do the same. Bless up. One love. Up. 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 Oh, I see other people making up, up, up shirts. Big up to them too, all right? <laughs> Big up to them too. I've been saying up, up, up. So again, if it spreads and they feel like doing it, it's a positive vibration. Manners and respect, same way. Big up to them too. Up, up, up. Understand that up, up, up means wake up, wise up, and rise up. Peace.